Hi, it's Alexis from Artists in Business, back with another video helping you turn your online art business into a success. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an art business plan for the year 2023. If you're an artist or creative wanting to grow your business, but you don't know how to create a solid business plan, or for those who are already entrepreneurs but don't know how to create a plan to help you scale that business, then this is the video for you. If you've tried designing an art business plan but felt completely in the dark about whether you were doing it right, know that you're not alone and that adaptation to the current online environment is one of the key factors you'll need to incorporate. Fortunately, no matter where you're starting from, I've got you covered because in 2023, there is one important element you need to keep in mind when creating an online business plan, and that is market saturation. Today, the online space is currently overly saturated. Thousands of businesses, including art-related platforms, are vying for people's attention. And this is actually a good thing because it's the best time to grow a business. So grab this opportunity to develop your platform. You can check out the link to my video below to learn more about how to expand your art business in an overly saturated online space. But now let's discuss what you need to know in a nutshell. One of the biggest misconceptions people have about selling online is that being new to market is better than trying to sell in an overly saturated online space. That couldn't be further from the truth. The reason is this. When you're new to market, you have to spend all of your time, energy, and focus educating your potential audience on why what you have to offer will be beneficial to them to invest in. However, in a saturated space, this part of the work is already done for you. In fact, the kind of product or service you're offering online already has good traction. You'll have people lining up to buy what you have. Think about the cosmetics industry. How many brands of red lipstick are there in the world? So many you can't even count. But every makeup line that comes out with their version of red lipsticks seems to make it just fine because it's a proven sale. No education needed. However, the thing you need to focus on in an overly saturated online space is pulling forward what makes you unique, different from everyone else selling art or creative products like you. This is where your business plan comes in. So with that in mind, Let's break down what needs to be considered here. Your revenue plan, your current offers, and your personal circumstances. Let's start with your revenue plan. This one is easy, believe it or not. Creating a revenue plan is not as complicated as it sounds if you know what type you're going to use. Revenue plans are simply guides to let you know how your art business will earn so that you can manage your income streams better. In this way, you can identify which part of your strategy needs improvement. See the link to our AIB revenue plan guide in the comments below to create your 12 month revenue plan in three simple steps. Creating the revenue plan itself is not complicated as you'll see, but you should know there are two other elements that need to be in place in order to configure your revenue plan properly. Your art biz signature story and your ideal client profile. Basically, your story is the element that sets you apart from everyone else hands down. So much so that it forms the entire premise of your business plan. A revenue plan without your signature story is just numbers on a page. Now, this is the main reason so many artists find themselves stumped with just a 12 month revenue goal. The signature story sets the stage for what you'll actually sell to reach that goal. How does it do that? Well, in order to figure out what price your offers need to hit in order to reach your revenue plan numbers, you need to know who your ideal buyers are. And your signature story helps us figure that out in the quickest amount of time. How? Because your buyers are actually resonating with the story behind your art. 
So once you have that story clear, identifying your buyers becomes a straight and clear path. See my links to both our AIB Signature Story Guide and Ideal Buyer Discovery in the comments below. Now, let's talk about current offers. There is one powerful and effective way to organize your offers in order to focus on the one or ones that will build your business the most in this moment in time. And that is what we call your profit ladder. In order to create a solid, long-term, sustainable online business, in general, it's ideal to have a low-priced offer, a mid-priced offer, and a high-priced offer, and an offer that brings in recurring revenue or what we call continuity, such as a payment plan, subscription, or ongoing payments of any kind. When you structure your revenue plan in this way with all of your offers categorized that way, you can easily see what makes the most sense for you to focus on that will lead to inevitable growth. See the link in the comments below for the AIB Profit Ladder Guide so you can work out yours your own way. Now let's hit your personal circumstances. The last piece to consider are your personal circumstances. As we have our own stories to tell and challenges we go through in our art businesses, we all the more need a solid business plan that's specifically created to our needs. For instance, if you're a single mother who has only limited time to cater to your art business, you'd want to have a plan that would still let you earn even if you have lesser time compared to someone who works for eight hours a day on their business. Or maybe you have great art ideas, but you don't have enough resources to jumpstart the business yet. Then you'd surely benefit from a business plan that has a revenue model fit for your current earnings and spending. One that would keep your business afloat even with the limited resources you have. Here at Artisan Business, we fully understand all of these scenarios, and that's why we always offer our roadmap session in our AIB Jumpstart experience. If you want to have a personalized plan that's perfect for whatever circumstances you're going through, check out the link below for more details on that. Now that we've got that covered, let's end this video by highlighting what makes a good business plan. For 2023, the business plan is a comprehensive document that every business should have. Here, objectives should be compiled with their respective plans to achieve the goals set for your business. To put it simply, these plans are your roadmaps. They cover the whole extent of your art business. That's why it's essential to make a solid one that works. But what makes a good business plan in the first place anyway? When you start making one, make sure you have all of these covered. It fits your company's needs. You should know what your business needs are. Identify your objective goals so you won't aimlessly create processes that are ineffective. This will eventually lay the groundwork for what needs to be done in your business. If you want a guided plan, you can also check out the link below to our AIB Jumpstart. Number two, making sure it's achievable. Being realistic, your business plan should be able to achieve exactly what you lay out in your goals section. It's great to have ideas, but if they can't be implemented and no objective goals are tackled and met in doing so, these don't make a good business plan. Instead, they should come with actionable steps that you can reasonably follow through and then see results on. And number three, making sure it's clear. Your business plan should be as clear as possible. This means you should include details like budgets, dates, deadlines, forecasts, and metrics. These should be measurable and should allow you, you to assess your results when needed. Now, as a recap, we really wanna focus on a simple 12-month revenue plan in three steps. Making sure you're clear on your signature story making sure you know something about your ideal buyer audience, and making sure you have a profit letter laid out that lists all the offers you have up and coming and now in your business. When you do things in that order, you will then have a map to follow for yourself and be able to pinpoint exactly what to focus on right now in your business to take it to growth. If you would like help 
identifying the exact challenge you're having, we have some resources, including our jumpstart experience and personal roadmap session in the links below. We're now at the end of this video. I hope you got something useful for your business plan. What is the most burning question you have after watching this tutorial? Please share in the comments below so I can be sure to make more videos to answer your specific questions. And to keep up to date with the tutorials I post, be sure to hit the subscribe button. When you subscribe, you help us reach you with the content you need most and you help other artists and creatives in the process.